Amam from and Atani Ata are farming communities near Hidiem in the Sutifi South District of the Hafu region, with a population of about 6,000. The two communities have only two government funded basic schools with inadequate and deplorable infrastructure. According to Abugri Adabogo, a teacher at Amam from DA school, the situation affects teaching and learning. Our structure is very bad. Sometimes if it rains, you could come and there's water in the classroom. The teacher has to suffer to clear it out and wait for at least hours for it to dry even before he can continue teaching. Uh, areas that are, the infrastructure is good, sometimes we don't have a, there's no enough desk to uh, accommodate uh, the children. To enhance early childhood readiness, Action Aid and their partners put up a two-unit KG block and a three-unit JHS block with ancillary facilities for pupils of Amamfrum and Ataniata. Here is the country director of Action Aid, John Inko, at the handing over ceremony. It is our firm belief that all this will provide a conducive environment that can lay a good foundation for a better future of the children of Amamfrum and Ata. Neata. It is our hope that in partnering with the district assembly for the provision of a model educational infrastructure like this, we will as a nation realize the importance of basic education including kindergarten and take the necessary steps to show up the number and quality of infrastructure available for basic formal education across the country. Obed Amwa Ewa, the headmaster for Ataniata JHS, said the facility means a lot, especially for female students. They've given us a structure where we have a urinal, then a changing room. That will also help the girls. Instead of when they are menstruating, they will go home and go and change and come. Sometimes they even uh, soil their attire in front of their colleagues and it makes them shy and therefore they go back home and they don't even return back. It will have a positive uh, impact, yes, on the children in terms of attendance and the zeal to learn. John Inko, however, bemoaned the low budgetary allocation to KG education and wants the government to reverse the situation to aid infrastructure development and access to education. Funding to the kindergarten sector of the education sector in Ghana reduced from 817 0.8 million Ghana CDs in 2020 to just 43.6 million CDs in 2021. Action Aid is particularly concerned about the outlook for the kindergarten expenditure. If these budget cuts are not reversed, it will significantly reduce early childhood school readiness and exacerbate existing inequalities between the education system. The government must begin to see education, especially at the basic level, as a right. Precious Semevo, Joy News, Atani Ata, near Shidim.